Good morning, everyone. I'm Stephen Matty. I'm chair of the Committee on Standards and Ethics. I've been joined by my colleagues, Karen Pozowitz and Melissa Gibson, also Serena Longley, our uh, um, committee counsel to the committee. Um, the Committee on Standards and Ethics is meeting today regarding a pending disciplinary matter open pursuant to Section 10.80 of the Council Rules concerning Council Member Andy King. Because it is necessary for the committee to discuss confidential personnel issues, I am making motion for the committee to move into executive session pursuant to Article 7 of the Public Officers Law. Do I have a second? Second. Recognizing Karen Coswitz for a second. Um, a motion has been made and seconded. The committee moves into executive session. For all those in favor of that motion, say aye. Aye. Noting that the ayes have it, I am now going to close this portion of the meeting and reopen executive session. Before we proceed into executive session, I will note for the public that the committee may vote on certain items of business during this session, and as a result, there may be an additional open session of the committee later today. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Again, I'm Steve Maddy. I'm chair of the Committee on Standards and Ethics. Thank you for being here and for your patience. Uh, I'm joined by my colleagues, Steve Levin, Vanessa Gibson, Karen Kozowitz, and Margaret Chin, and by Committee Counsel Serena Longley. Um, as you know, the Committee on Standards and Ethics opened a meeting earlier today regarding a pending disciplinary matter initiated pursuant to Section 10.80 of the Council Rules concerning Council Member Andy King. Because it was necessary for the committee to discuss confidential personnel issues in conjunction with the pending disciplinary matter, the committee voted to move into executive session pursuant to Article 7 of the Public Officers Law. We are now returning to open session to make public the outcome of today's vote regarding the pending disciplinary matter. Based upon a wide-ranging investigation conducted by both the Council's Office of the General Counsel and the Special Counsel retained by the committee to prosecute this disciplinary proceeding, the committee voted today to issue four charges against Councilmember King. In sum, the charges state between 2015 and 2019, Councilmember King either engaged in, encouraged, permitted, condoned, or failed to prevent conduct that violated certain laws of the city, as well as the rules and policies of the council. More specifically, the charges are retaliation, disorderly conduct, conflicts of interest violations, and harassment. Based on the findings of our investigation and pursuant to the rules of the council, this committee will now hold a disciplinary hearing on these charges on September 10, 2019, beginning at 10 a.m. The hearing will be held in executive session, and Councilmember King has a right to be represented by counsel at the hearing. The council has hired Carrie Cohen to serve as special counsel and present the case against Councilmember King to the committee. While the, while the proceedings are confidential, after the committee deliberates on the charges, the findings and recommendations of the committee will be made public. This concludes our summary of the committee's votes during today's meeting, and at this point, I'm adjourning the meeting. Thank you all for being here. <laughs>